okay now we added some code here I'll explain one by one in the message handle view in the class definition we added two member variables one is a boolean member variable and another one is a um, rect class this one we are going to use uh, to draw the rectangle uh, in blue color if the variable is set to true then we draw the rectangle in blue and if it is set false then we are drawing we are going to draw the rectangle in green color this one we are uh, going to uh, define a clipping area so once a clipping area is defined then we have a chance to ask windows to draw uh, the area surrounded by that clipping uh, rect so that we can uh, save a lot of uh, time uh, on that redrawing why because a uh, redraw happens by erasing the background then uh, uh, doing the actual draw uh, defined by the ANDRA uh, overlay. Right, this is the first uh, change we made. Then the second change is in, uh, in the initialization. That means in the constructor, uh, we are initializing these two members. So let me go to the constructor. So now we are in the CPP file and in the view class constructor. First, uh, we are setting the m underscore blue rect as true that means um, when we initially launch the application yeah blue rectangle is drawn because of this uh, boolean flag which is set to true then we are defining the rect here so this rect defines the bounding box let's say this is our client area so i'm defining top that means uh, from here it is a 5 pixel then left means from here this left is at 5 that means the top left defines uh, top left corner of the rectangle somewhere here when considering this mouse cursor position as the origin 5 here and 5 here so this portion the cursor pointer wherever it is showing that one will be the top left Similarly, we are defining 170 and 170 for bottom and right. So, for bottom, 170 will come somewhere here and right that will come somewhere here. So, likewise, we are defining the rectangle here. I am just moving the cursor to imagine where the rectangle is, considering this one as the origin. So that's the initialization here. One is uh, we set the boolean flag uh, to say in what color we want to draw the rectangle. Then we set a clipping region uh, by populating the rectangular member. Next, we are drawing the rectangle. So in the Andra handle, we are defining the rectangle here. 0 comma 0 160 comma 160 so this is the dimension we are setting again with the top left bottom right that means it's fall inside the clipping region that we defined here right after that we are checking the boolean flag and we are making sure that uh, uh, the flag is true if it is true then we are uh, drawing a rectangle so here if you see this is the PDC positive inside and device context in the device context we are making call to a function fill solid rect that means it will uh, draw a rect and also it fills the rect with the color that we specify here here we are specifying the color in terms of a red green blue combination red is 0 blue is 0 sorry green is 0 then blue is 255 that means we are drawing the rectangle in blue color if the flag is false then we are drawing the rectangle in green color red 0 blue 0 green component is at full intensity 255 that means we are drawing that in a green color right now we will go to the 
last part of the code remember in the previous video we added a two message handler right that means this code get called when uh, left mouse button click and this code get called when right uh, right mouse button get clicked here what i'm saying if left mouse button is clicked i am setting this rectangle as true um, when right mouse button get clicked then i am setting this rectangle uh, i mean i'm setting this boolean flag as false then i'm calling invalidate rect and i'm passing the flipping box that we defined in the constructor so what we are asking here is we are asking uh, windows to send the wm paint message to the application so uh, after calling some uh, mfc framework function the call end, ends up in uh, onra so in the onra uh, only the clipping region will get erased and only that portion will get redrawn same things happens here so when onra get called uh, when l button is down we know that onra is checking for this flag and it will draw a blue rectangle when r button get clicked the boolean flag is set false here in this event then when onra get called it will draw a green rectangle let us compile this and experiment how it is working right so succeeded now we will run it you see it displays a blue rectangle now i'm now i am going to right click the mouse once we right click the mouse it will set a flag as false then on draw get called in onra we are going to draw a green rectangle so i will do the right click now you see the green rectangle get called i mean um, the green rectangle get drawn here now once again i will do the left click blue get drawn right so you know the bounding box is here somewhat uh, 5 comma 5 which defines stop left then 170 170 which will come somewhere here that means inside this bounding book box we have drawn this rectangle so whenever redraw happens it happens only here this portion won't get redrawn thereby saving us some time right we will further examine this um, by changing the bounding box dimension okay let me say my clipping region is only 100 comma 100 that means uh, it will intersect that rectangle right now when now when i run this application you will see only portion of uh, this rectangle is redrawn i'm going to right click see since i reduced the dimension this is the clipping region so it just redrawn only that portion now i will do the left click and then do right click again so i hope uh, this will make you understand uh, what is the invalidate rect and what is the clipping region and how the redraw happens that's all in this video bye for now